Hello YouTube. This is uh, going to be my haul from the Providence Comic Con this weekend. Um, dollar bins only. Uh, I don't really, like I said, I do not really uh, collect uh, expensive books. Uh, I'd like to. It just It's more fun for me to find something expensive. It's expensive in a dollar bin. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let me position this a little bit here. All right. This is um, the first appearance of Hobgoblin outside of Amazing Spider-Man, and when he, the first time he took the, the Goblin formula, um, it's not an expensive book by any means, and it's not even a great copy. If you, you can see, it's got like white down there. Uh, but as a Spider-Man fan, it's cool to have. It's a, uh, I guess you would say it's a key Hobgoblin issue if you're a Hobgoblin collector. Uh, Amazing Spider-Girl, um, yeah, it's a variant, uh, not worth a ton, but, um, really cool, like the zombie stuff, yep. Amazing Spider-Man, Civil War Decisions, uh, this collects 529 to 532, I have never seen this before, I think I saw it when it came out, but I haven't seen it since, uh, it's in dollar bin, why not? Uh, New Ways to Die, book five. Uh, it's the only one I didn't have, so yeah, cool stuff. Amazing Spider-Man 51. Uh, yeah, I I used to have this. I got rid of it. I'm glad to find it again. I think I got this. I didn't pay a dollar for this. I got this uh, in a uh, nine for twenty-five bundle. Uh, and the guy that I got this from it kind of aggravated me. He, he had everything. Mark, unmarked, um, and and I asked him what are the unmarked books, and he's like, oh well, you know, just give me a, uh, just just take some out and um, give me a little stack, and you know, I'll, I'll give you a good deal. And it's like it's like all right. Uh, so what happens? I, I didn't say this part, but I was like, what? I was thinking to myself, what? What if I grab a bunch of books and then you give me a deal and I don't like the deal? You know, I I don't want to put them all back. I, it's just. It's just frustrating. I mean, label your books. You know, I, I I would I would never go to that guy again. It was just, and, and anyone that says that from here on out, I just I'm just gonna walk away. I I don't like when they uh, when they when they can't um, give a set price well before I start looking. Um, anyway, yeah, glad to have that. Um, Spider-Man Thirty. Uh, this is another one I used to have. Got rid of. Glad to find it for a buck. First appearance of Moral Loon, who's a big part of the Spider-Verse storyline going on right now. Amazing Spider-Man 2 variant. Been looking for this for a little while. Uh, I knew someone was going to have it in a dollar bin one day. Um, it's it's in that area of Marvel. Uh, the gray area of the 2000s. Early 2000s, late 90s that um, some, some collectors don't realize are difficult to find and might be worth more. Um, but yeah, glad to have that. Secret Wars 7, first appearance of uh, uh, Julia Carpenter, I believe. I was going to say Jessica Drew, not Jessica Drew. Um, yeah, cool Spider-Man key issue to have. I was one of this, glad to have it. Uh, Non-enhanced variant of Spider-Man, I mean Spider-Man 388. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 381. I always love seeing these Hulk Spider-Man team-ups, even though Bagley's Hulk uh, leaves a lot to be desired, at least in the old days. I mean, look how gaunt his face looks. Um, he's gotten better, though. I think Bagley does the, um, the recent run of Hulk. And, uh, yeah, he's gotten a lot better. <laughs> but he was struggling with the Hulk for a long time. Uh, these are part of a set. I got all the Maximum Carnage Amazing Spider-Man issues, finally. Alright. One dollar. Amazing Spider-Man 363. This was part of that 9 for 25 deal. Uh, not too bad. This one, 362 I got for two bucks, I think. Surprised to see... This one in a two dollar bin. 
Marvel Milestone Edition, Amazing Spider-Man 3. This is, uh, yeah, it's cool to have. I, I would have liked to have found Amazing Fantasy 15 Milestone Edition, but, um, yeah, this is the only one they had for Amazing Spider-Man. This one is number one, but I already had number one. Uh, the, the weird thing about these, uh, Milestone Editions is that I, I always, even my copies, they've always got these, like, dings on the side. These, like, dents that are, like, really, like, easy to see. I don't know if it's because of the paper quality of the cover or the ink that they use for the silver. I don't know. But it's hard for me to find, like, an issue that does not have that problem. Uh, and this one was a weird one. I've never seen this before. Doctor Strange Marvel Milestone Edition. And since his first appearance wasn't, like, a an actual, like, on the cover, uh, he didn't, Doctor Strange wasn't, number one wasn't his first appearance. Uh, he appeared in Strange Tales 10. Um, so they just, like, the cover of this is just, like, an interior page. Uh, so that was interesting to me. Um, but this one's even got worse things. I mean, you can see, like, the, the highlight just, like, all indented on the side. Pain in the ass. Uh, first appearance of Ariana, the current Spider-Girl. Uh, non-enhanced variant of Spider-Man 51. Don't see a lot of those non-enhanced variants. Um, variant edition of Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one. Um, always wanted to have these, uh, didn't want to pay five, six, seven, eight dollars, whatever they were. Um, so yeah, cool. Cool stuff. Got it for a dollar. Same with this one. Also a dollar. Number two. Variant edition. Bagman. Good stuff. Uh, early appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Um, uh, I didn't realize that this had writing on it though. 319, whatever the hell that means. Um, and that's... Writing on a book just drives me absolutely crazy. Especially when you, when you buy a book and then you open it up. And then you see that someone wrote their name on the inside. It's like, like I don't want to. I don't want to look through every single book that I buy. I just it just aggravates the crap out of me. So uh, I'm tempted to cut this up as like a. I like to make collages from um, books that I consider worthless. Um, I don't know if this falls under that. Uh, it's, it's in a really cloak and dagger. Um, yeah, it's like about that. Amazing Fantasy 15 from the new series, first appearance of Amadeus Cho, uh, who is a part of the Illuminati now in the Time Runs Out event in New Avengers and Avengers. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, we all know about the press conference that Marvel did last week with uh, all the, the new slate of movies. Um, so I thought this was... A really cool find. Miss Marvel number two. Uh, dollar bin. Miss Marvel fifteen. Dollar bin. Apparently, she got rid of her uh, the midriff in her costume in um, between two and fifteen. How about that? Miss Marvel number twenty. This is her first appearance in the new costume, the classic costume. Um, I didn't realize that it had, like, gunk up at the top, though. It's got this, like, st looks like there was a, maybe a sticker at the top or something. And it, it can rub off. It's just really annoying. And if I knew it was there, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it. I think I had more than one copy. This one's really interesting. This was in a dollar bin. And, uh, I, I, I don't see too many on eBay. There's, like, a lot of buy it now for outrageous prices. Um... But it's it's not really it's hard to get a gauge on what the price is. Maybe if someone knows, they can tell me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so uh, I was like, sure, I'll, I'll take a dollar variant. Uh, like I said in other video, my other video, um, I'm not a big Deadpool fan nowadays. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, surprise surprise to see it in there. Cool to have. I think this, is, this was my biggest success from the dollar bins today. Or, not today. Uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, so, 
I think that's about it. Uh, that was a short one, and um, if I if I make it out to another, uh, actually, the next video I do will probably be my um, my favorite comics from my collection. Uh, I'll probably do that in a few days. Um, there's a, there's a, a few that I'd like to show off. You know, it's fun. It's fun to buy books in the dollar bin, and it's fun to buy comic books. Um, but then you know you read them and you put them away, and you're like, oh well, it's I'm not going to take it out again because I want it to stay pristine. So it's fun to show them off in these videos. It feels like I'm getting uh, more use out of them. Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all another time.